Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. This is Greg Orloff coming to you live from IIoT World. I'm the Chief Innovation Officer here, and we are the first industry digital publication focused 100% on industrial IoT. That's the Industrial Internet of Things. Now, today we have a special guest in the house. His name is Mr. Michael Murray. Now, Michael is the Senior Vice President and General Manager of Cyber Physical Systems, or IoT, at Blackridge Technology. Welcome, Michael. Could you give us a little background on Blackridge and what your role entails? Sure. Thanks, Greg. I appreciate the opportunity, and um, uh, it's a wonderful opportunity to speak with you and IOT. So Blackridge is a, a technology company that was really born around network security. Uh, our founders are still with the company. They're very much the uh, driving force of the technology. And when you think about Blackridge, what we do is we are the company that actually will do the authentication before you connect to the internet versus uh, allowing folks to connect to the internet the way that it currently works. So think of it this way, we're basically the caller ID for the internet. Uh, the company right now is about 50 people. Uh, we're headquartered out of Reno, Nevada. Uh, we have three different product lines or product groups, if you will, or strategies, mainly focused on commercial networking as well as uh, the blockchain business that we've begun. and. Uh, IIoT, which I lead. Excellent. No, thank you. Thank you very much. You know, Michael, according to Cisco's 2017 mid-year cybersecurity report, nearly 50% of manufacturers use six or more security vendors in their facilities to deal with cyber issues. Can you share with us any of your ICS partners? Sure. So we have a strategic partnership that we've developed with a company called PTC ThingWorks. Uh, PTC is, I think, the 800-pound gorilla when it comes to IIoT implementations. In my view, they're the world's leader in developing technologies for the Internet of Things. So we've been working with them, mainly focused around how to bring authenticated identity and authenticated network connectivity to the industrial IoT. Got it. Okay. Could you possibly offer any guidance on how the various stakeholders, it could be OT vendors, integrators, maintenance folks, or even the owners, you know, should negotiate the partnerships and responsibilities for cybersecurity of an ICS or an IACS type of a system? Sure. I, I'll take the question uh, maybe in a different direction. One of the things that's interesting that we're seeing, Greg, is that um, there's what's called shared responsibility. And what shared responsibility really focuses in on is liked group companies getting together and talking about ICS security issues. It's something that PTC and Blackridge are driving in the industry, and I think Rockwell is adopting it as well as some other folks. So when we start thinking about penetrations and, and issues in ICS-type uh, marketplaces, most companies don't offer the industry any information on what's happened. And I think that needs to change. So shared responsibility with companies that you may or may not compete with to talk about any sorts of uh, issues that you've had in terms of breaches I think is really important moving forward, specifically in critical infrastructure. So uh, we're working with uh, NIST and the NCCOE on projects around how to make sure that we understand what issues there are in the industry, what sort of attacks we're seeing, what penetrations actually have worked uh, in grid networks, and then really try to understand those and communicate what we can do to help remedy them with other companies uh, and other physical stacks. So that's um, where I think we need to go as an industry. Uh, we'll be speaking at CES this year about the same sorts of things of how to get like group companies together uh, and talk about these issues and how to solve them. Excellent. Well, on that note, if you had to pick one activity or one thing to recommend for all critical infrastructure folks as well as network owners, what would that one thing be? I think start now. Uh, one of the interesting things that when I talk to customers is they're confused about how to start in terms of their capital equipment. And what I mean by that is a number of the companies in critical infrastructure IOT already have spent a tremendous amount of capital for their factory automation floor, process automation floor, home automation network. Moreover, if you're a hospital or a, a critical infrastructure power grid, that equipment needs to be up and it needs to be working all the time. So a lot of IT managers and security managers don't know where to start because they can't stop their current environment, one, Two, they also need to look at how much money can I spend in terms of capital expenditure to make my grid or my factory floor more secure. And then three, they look at this and say, I don't know what technology to look at. I'm waiting for hardware root of trust. I'm waiting for all these different types of technologies, but I can't do anything today. 
And the number one thing I talk to with customers is you can start today. Start with micro-segmentation and segregation of your networks. If you start there, you'll be able to adapt in the future, bring in new technologies like Blackridge or hardware we trust as it comes in over the next you know, five, 10 years. And now you've got the ability to actually start working your, your uh, factory automation core or whatever it might be in terms of more secure networking, authenticated networking, and authenticated connections with something like Blackridge. Now, what's more important than that, uh, Greg, that I think the listeners are, and viewers really need to understand is our technology is brownfield enabled. What I mean by that is you don't need to change your current architecture. You don't have to stop your line to use our technology, uh, and it's not AI-based. So I think that's where I talk to most companies and customers about starting today with micro-segmentation and segregation, understand the pedigree and providence of the data that you're getting and the security levels that you have in your network. Start there, but start today. No, that's an excellent insight. Thank you, Michael. It's, I think the analysis paralysis tends to kick in in organizations a lot of time, and you just you spend a lot of time worrying and thinking and then putting it off for, for a day later. So in that spirit, I mean, what are some of the big projects you've got in the queue for 2019? Is there anything you can talk about or share with us? Yeah, so we're, we're actively working with the uh, National Cybersecurity Center of Excellence, NCCOE, which is a, a part of NIST. Um, that project we're kicking off is an IoT-based project uh, for the energy grid and renewable grid, talking really about the same things that we just went over, about how to take a current energy grid, implement micro-segmentation and segregation so that you can add in new things like renewable technologies from countries you know, that are producing those types of technologies and be able to adapt and defend your network over time as new technologies come in. So that's number one. Uh, we're very pleased to be working with the NCCOE. They're just a class act group of people. Uh, we're very proud of that uh, effort. Uh, so that's one. Two, we're releasing a new IoT product, uh, and uh, it's called TAC ID, uh, releasing it, or announcing it, I should say, at CES this year. Uh, so we'll be there with a, a large contingent in a booth um, talking about how to install ID or uh, authenticated identity into your network so that that network connection is authenticated using Blackridge and how to do that in your current environment. So we're super thrilled about that. Uh, so we'll be at CES with a big splash. Then lastly, uh, you've got a little scoop here, Greg, that I'm going to give you is uh, we're going to do a press release with uh, PTC. Uh, we've announced a strategic relationship or we'll be announcing a strategic relationship with PTC. Uh, who I think is the leader not only in IIoT, but the thought process and leadership around how to connect and be responsible for connecting more smart, intelligent devices. Wow, that's excellent. Well, just remember, everyone, you heard it here first at IIoT World. We've got two, two hot off the presses and a couple of peek behind the curtains. Uh, we'll look forward to hearing more about the TAC ID as well as the, the PTC collaboration. That, that's excellent, Michael. So I'm going to ask you to get out your crystal ball now for a second. Uh, can you comment on where you think the market, you know, maybe evolving and changing in the coming year? Anything, you, any insight or foresight that you, you could share with us? Sure. Um, I, I, I love talking about this stuff because uh, it's uh, forward thinking. I think um, the things that are changing, Greg, that I, I want your listenership and, and readers and viewers to know is that the cost to defend and the cost to attack is what's changing in the future. So we all spend an inordinate amount of money securing our IT infrastructure. But the IT and OT are now meeting at any given company. And I'll use a manufacturing plan as a perfect example. Here in North America, manufacturers need to compete with you know, overseas competitors who have an IoT-enabled factory, meaning they, they look at mean time between failures and condition-based monitoring type of applications. The difference is our technologies and in infrastructure is 10, 20, 30 years old. So the cost to be able to do something like that is very expensive. But the IT to OT convergence is still going to happen. But the attackers now look at this as an opportunity to say, I can go attack the same enterprise instead of going at it from a quantum computer or a cloud to cloud type of environment. I can now attack through the OT and get up into the IT network just as quickly and probably less expensively and less sophisticated than going after uh, the same enterprise just through the IT side of the network. So we're seeing the shift, the economic shift, from attacking IT systems to attacking OT systems. And that's where I think the industry is going over the course of 2019 and certainly 2020. 
No, that's that's some riveting insight. I, I appreciate that. And I, we, we've heard that before as well, that there's just that, mm -hmm. you know, you, you've kind of sealed up one spot of the dam, but there's 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 back doors in other ways, and uh, the pervasive folks of the world are going to try and, and blow their way into an organization as best they can. Uh, well, Perfect. on behalf of the entire IoT you know, world community uh, and our family here, thank you, Michael, for sharing this with us today. I appreciate the insight, and uh, this is Greg Orloff signing off, and uh, I want to thank everyone for joining us today.